I've been working on two major makeovers for my friends. So today is the Topanga Flea Market. Okay, whoa. You guys just saw a major sneak peek. Yeah, I got some great stuff. I got some other things that I can't wait to show them. I love it. Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. When I tell you there's not enough time or days in a week. I feel like I've been running a mile a minute just doing so many different little pockets of things that it's like I'm, this week especially, like the last two weeks have been like a, a big struggle since I finished the bathroom just like starting a new project here at the house, but also I've been working on two major makeovers for my friends. So like ordering, planning, designing, getting things in, shopping for things. There are also different styles and then myself, which I'm excited for because I like to kind of like push myself a little bit or push my boundary. Of course, I want to give my friends what they what they want. You know what I mean? Like the style that really speaks to them. And I really enjoy that. Um, but at the same time, it's a lot more challenging because I'm, I'm very used to doing things <laughs> in my own style. But there'll be like sprinkles of my style. It's obviously my eye doing them, but it's equally as different. I also have, like I mentioned to you guys last vlog that I had a photo shoot, it happened. And then the day after, I felt like I had zero energy. I worked on the computer for a little bit and like took a nap. It's like, you know how you just need that day to like reset? So that was yesterday that I just like tried to rest because I've been running like a mile a minute. I still kind of like feel like I'm like recuperating from all the work from last week. But at the same time, I'm like, feel like I'm like restless, like I need to get out of the house. So today is the Topanga Flea Market and it's not incredibly far from our house, like not as far as Long Beach and stuff. So I was like, oh, that would be fun to just go walk around because I need to take those opportunities for flea markets and estate sales to find things for these makeovers. So we've got so many super fun projects like lined up and coming up and I've been working on that it's just like taking some time, you know, to get them all done. But like I knew going into like this month, like September, October, November, December, like the end of the year was just going to be absolutely crazy. Been trying to juggle it as, as best as I could, but but I'm just doing my best, you know? <laughs> like, I'm like trying and, you know, keeping up with like, my videos, but also doing fun projects, you know? Things just take take time. We're gonna eat some breakfast here at home and then head out and it's, it's early morning, so I don't think we'll spend too long at the flea market because it's not too, too big. You know, it's not as big as, as Long Beach for sure, but I feel like it's a pretty good flea. Just get out of the house, just go like, do something. I've been here either prepping for a photo shoot, here cleaning, here decorating, because part of the photo shoot, I had to decorate for Christmas in some way. More on that later. <laughs> like it was like, whoa. <laughs> like, we've got spring, summer still happening in the garden because all the roses and everything is still blowing. The camellia are coming in. They're absolutely beautiful. I'll show you. Halloween up the driveway, you know, and then we've got a little bit of Christmas inside. The makeovers, I can tell you kind of like the style of makeovers that I've been working on, obviously, and how they're a little bit different than mine. Uh, I've been doing a like more colorful mid-century modern, which I actually used to have a big mid, I feel like we all kind of had a little bit of a mid-century modern influence, especially like in the furniture. I've been doing that, but this one's like 
an ex like a pretty impactful like pop of color and like, mixing colors together so that's been fun and challenging too and then the second makeover that i'm working on is more um of a like traditional modern organic modern kind of like vibe um for my friend jerica so she's like more that vibe because they just got a house and they've been doing renovations i can't wait to show you guys my hair is like not cooperating sometimes it just doesn't work so i'm gonna take my tote bag i love this tote bag that i got in um provence instead of bringing my purse we could bring the wagon but i might not bring the wagon inside or maybe i will maybe i will we, we, we can bring it ready. okay you ready oh much cooler this week it was Friday, it was 91. Today, right now, it's 65. So it's definitely dropped. It feels a little cooler. I think the high is only going to be like 72-ish. Who told you that it was too late? When was it that you started leaning that way? Four tires cut into the clay. It dries up and now there's just one road to take. It's growing up. for me and all for these makeovers. <laughs> what I'm really looking for is a vase of some kind that's darker, that's pretty, and some like mid-century modern smaller pieces of art would be great. I don't know, some darker pieces. I feel like I've gotten a lot of bright colored kind of furniture for this makeover for mid-century modern, but like I need to ground this space. Like I need it to be like darker and deeper um, and not everything like kind of like the same colors, like patches of colors all over the room. Like I need, I need some cohesive pieces, like things to tie them all together and ground the space. And I like to do that with like dark warm colors. So we'll see. I like this art a lot, $4. It's kind of like a, I love this. Look how cool this is. This is so cool. It's got all the colors that I'm working with, like yellow and blue. Oh, yeah. And yeah, even the nice. pinks. I mean, I know. It's, it's a beautiful painting. It's probably one of those most popular. Yeah, ones. it's so neat. I think I'm, it's called Joel. Like Joel? Joel? Joel Lady or something. Okay. Joel Lady. I could, I could probably image search it. And, yeah, you can do yeah. So neat. Okay, whoa. You guys just saw a major sneak peek, I guess, because I did not expect to find that powerful of like a piece of art and like a showstopper piece. I don't even know if she'll like it, but it's all the colors that I'm working with. And it's just like, when you find the deep, perfect piece and $30 for that big of a print, I can't even print that for $30, much less frame it. That's insane. She's like, please buy it. I was like, mind if I do. Christmas. Cute. This is such a pretty set too. Like all these, it's so cute. Thanks for talking about that. Fifteen dollars, he said. I have to. I have to. This is so cute for the makeover. I kind of have to have it. I'm cleaning up, but look how cute.
So that big piece of art was one that Romeo was carrying. <laughs> it says Ikea on the back. I knew when I picked it up, it was down at the bottom. So when I leaned it over and then when he said 15, I was like, oh, okay, no brainer. I knew when I picked it up, it was like the frame was like plastic and cheap and it felt manufactured. You know, I can tell the difference between something that's a canvas that's painted on and like something that's like pressed and manufactured. But the amount of people that have stopped us to say like how amazing it is, is kind of funny because even I thought it was like, oh, this is like actually pretty nice. I don't know if it's a style that they sell anymore though. Like it still has the sticker on it. So I'm the how yard, but like it just goes to show you like you take something out of its element and then sometimes it's still decent and you can still you know make something work um especially for like a really budget price so i was thinking even if i use it for the makeover i was thinking i was going to put replace the frame with like actual wood you know and make it you know it's entry modern still but like real wood add value to it or add some weight and, and interest to it so <laughs> I just thought that was funny that everyone kept stopping like, oh, that's a great piece, oh, that's a great piece. I'm like, thank you. Okay, we just, we just finished. We did the whole market. It's really not huge, and it's, but it's quiet. Like, surprisingly, got some stuff. We just picked up the piece of art, too, that I got, the colorful one. Thank you. And I want to look it up because, like, look at it. So many people went back and wanted it. They're like, oh, it's sold, you should have got it. And people were looking at it before I looked at it and they were like, oh, you know, like, can you hold it? And she was like, no, it's marked $30. Like, I don't hesitate. I don't, I don't walk away and go back. Like, mom, if you're listening, mom, you do that. Walk away and you go back and then you can't find it or it's gone. And I can't do that. Because I, I, I look at something, oh my god, I'm being blown away or like around by this art. Because if I see something, I know I like it and I won't really have to think about it. And that was just like one piece. And I was like, I'll get it from you, I'll pay you for it. But now you have to hold it because I can't walk around with it. She's super nice. Everyone here is so nice. Don't overprice stuff. That's why I don't even haggle here because I'm just like, it's worth what you priced it at. Like, you're, you're good. It's, it's fine. Yeah, I got some great stuff. I got some other things that I can't wait to show them, but like really good pieces for especially this makeover for sure. Okay, so I figured since we're going to be taking all of this stuff to someone else's house, I won't unpack my car, but we could do a haul in the car. I did get at least one thing just for me though. Oh, this is so pretty. I have been looking for an amber bowl for the dining room that I'm working on. Um, and this one was gorgeous it had feet on it and it had these like ridges here it was like scalloped on the edges it's just beautiful i got this bowl for 20 dollars, and i really felt like everything was priced really reasonably or like lower than i would have imagined them saying if i asked so and everyone was so nice like i really like that flea market one of the first things that i got actually were these onyx horse bookends look how beautiful i love them they're not they're heavy they're not super super heavy though these are for me <laughs> i really wanted to bring the stone look throughout the rest of the house and when we do the bookshelves in the living room i'm gonna need things like this as like decorative pieces that i really don't have uh, for this house and she, she wanted 30 i offered her 25 she said yes and everyone was really in the mood to just like move stuff so it was you know she was like yeah i'll take 25 for them i thought they were so pretty like just different you know, I never imagined myself buying like um, horse, like horse things, but I'm like, I'm very, very into them. And I love that they were stone and they had like, you know, kind of warmth to them. They were like really pretty. There was one vendor that had books for a dollar a piece and also this art piece. Now I will take this with me to this makeover, but just, just to have, but I don't think I'll end up using it because I found some other good pieces of art, but I really liked its neutral palette. And I felt like I was looking for art to kind of calm all the color that I was working with. Cause it's like, I feel like, I feel like you could do too much. I feel like you could have too many things that are colorful, maybe just specifically for my eye. I like it, um, color to be more of an accent, but this, this makeover is really leaning into like different, like pairing different colors together. So I felt like in my gut, I was like, I just feel like I need some neutrals and need something to calm it down. So this one was really good. This one was $4. 
and then he had all the books for a dollar so I looked through them and saw a few uh, I got this one for me this is the um, an anthology of world poetry love books like that when I see books for 50 cents dollar two dollars even three dollars five dollars is usually pretty high unless it's like pretty specific book and I like it like the contents are really there there was another more curated booth with like really pretty books they had she had like the Christmas Carol but it was like 40 so it, it depends on what the book is but um, I wouldn't I wouldn't get it I wouldn't pay that but couldn't go wrong and I got this one for the makeover because it has some blue in it blue on the spine and things and I've been looking for some of those colors but in a more neutral look and then pairing them with like brighter colors so also got this amber piece for like the coffee table right now they keep um some mints and things on their coffee table so for tying in the design in the, in the space and then having a place that they can like have stuff like that or like little like matches for their candles and things um, i thought it was really pretty with like the ridges this one was 20 as well I also got a canister, a yellow canister. This is not quite amber, more yellow. And I have some yellow accents going on in the dining room that I wanted to kind of like help tie together. This was so pretty. It was vintage Lee Smith, Lee Smith amber yellow glass lidded canister, $12. Not bad. She had another green one, but I'm not doing green. It's hard because mid-century modern, uh, you find a lot of green glass, you know, like the, it's it's a predominant color, but I'm trying not to because I don't have that in anything else. So been really staying in like the blue, yellow and pink realm, um, soft nod to like a kind of primary color palette, if you will. But I thought that was really pretty for $12. I felt like it was really pretty. And then we have the two art pieces. So the one, the first one that I found, so many people were looking at it. Some lady even came up next to me and was like staring at it, which always gives me a lot of pressure because I'm like, oh, if I like this, I have to buy it because she's literally standing right next to me staring at it <laughs> kind of thing. And that art piece, it's from, I'm gonna butcher the way he says his name. It's, I'll put it on, it's a, he's an Austrian painter, Gustav Klimit, Klimit. And this particular piece is called The Kiss. This is one of his most famous works of art. This is obviously a print. This is not an original. There is no brush stroke on it whatsoever. It is a print, but it's a huge print, almost as tall as me. So it's five foot wide, which is the perfect piece that I'm looking for for the dining room. Really like a showstopper piece that has like a lot of interest and a lot of like color, but like in a, meaningful way it was so interesting so it did not this is going to be a surprise for them i hadn't i don't show my friends like everything that i'm getting because i want them to see the space all done but of course i go into every makeover because i'm only really designing for myself most of the time and i just want my friends to really love their spaces so i, I always preface i'm like if you don't like anything we can totally change it i just want you to be happy but this was kind of the vision kind of thing so i, I always lead in they always love everything but so today the kiss by gustav is hanging in the um, Belvedere Museum and to acquire this transcendent piece of art the Belvedere paid 25,000 crowns or about $240,000 today. Austria considers the kiss a national treasure. In 2003 Austria released a commemorative 100 euro coin with the kiss on one side and the portrait of Clement on the other. I'm probably butchering his name I'm so sorry. And it may be a self-portrait that's just so cool. It's like, yes, it's a print of an actual one. Obviously, I got it for $30, but like, that's so cool, you know? So I hope, I hope they love it because I feel like it would really make the space feel really special to have such a predominant piece of art. Plus 15, I spent $100 today at the flea market. Also a very exciting update. I'm going to be working with anthropology for the holidays. I'm going to be doing a tablescape and then things for my Christmas tree. <laughs> I was like, really? That was, I was really excited. I geeked out. I was, I was actually really excited. I got to pick a few things to like build a tablescape out with their items. And then also for the tree, as it starts to come in, I'll show you guys kind of what I ordered. Got some really pretty pieces. Oh, I love their taper candles. I love getting candles from anthropology in general. Look how pretty these are. These are, these are just like the pop of color that I got for Halloween. Um, but in the like emerald color, look how pretty. Oh, so pretty. This is a vase. 
If you've been in their store recently, you kind of saw those faces. They're so pretty. This is like an orangey, pinky orangey color. You always need a good base for a tablescape. You can't go without flowers, I feel like. Guys, so I ordered a print of one of those uh, really amazing pictures that Romeo and I took in Paris with the photographer. And I ordered one for a frame, a vintage frame that I have. I can get it out of here. I didn't, uh, and I ordered it from the stack house where I get all of uh, my art printed from. Oh, maybe it'll help if I, they have great quality. And I got it on the photo rag paper. I didn't do it on foam core to make it thicker like I normally do because this one, this particular frame had glass. So I don't really need it. But if I was doing it like a, to look like a painting, and stuff, I wouldn't have glass and I would need it to be a little stronger. It looks so good. Oh, and dar, I love it. So good, look at us. <laughs> and I wanna put it in this frame that I got from Long Beach. Uh, it's really pretty, I got it for $25. So this whole thing is costing me like, $40 maybe to put together. It doesn't have a hanger on it, so I'm gonna have to add a hanger to the frame. Kinsley, are you helping? And then I'll use the, the same cardboard that it came with. See if that looks good before we close it up. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, it's so easy. I'm so excited. I wanna hang it um, on a wall in our bedroom. Uh, I thought it would be really, really pretty. So I like my first picture that we've taken, any family like photo kind of thing uh, that we've taken that I've actually wanted to frame. You know, he, Romeo and I both picked this one as our favorite. Huh, the only thing better is if you were there, you would have loved it. You're so photogenic. I love it, I added, this frame didn't have um, a string or a, a little hook to actually hang it on the wall. Um, so I just added one. I thought it would be so perfect like right here. Just like in our bedroom, you know, kind of off to the side just for us. I love it. Honey, it looks so good. Mm -hmm. 